Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a Lenovo IdeaPad 5. This is the 15 inch version of this laptop. And I'm going to show you how to get inside and access your Wi Fi card in the event that you need to replace it or you want to upgrade it. So, first thing to do, guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure that it's off and unplugged from the charger. We're going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have several screws. You have three up here along the top of the screen, four down here on the bottom, one to the left middle, one to the right middle. And these are all of your screws. Once you get those screws up, guys, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. Metal tends to scratch the case a little bit much. Uh, so plastic pry tool, I like using a hard guitar pick. And you're going to go around this seam right here that you can see right at the bottom of your bottom case all the way around nice and slow and you're going to slowly pry up this bottom case from the computer be careful not to put the pry tool too far in you could damage some components so just keep it on the outside and gently but firmly pry up this bottom case it may take a, a couple passes around once you get that bottom case off this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer now before i do anything in a computer i always remove or at least unplug the battery um, again, just like we unplug the charger, we want to get as little power running through the computer as possible to avoid damage anything while we're poking around inside. So if you have a battery that looks like this inside, um, this is your battery plug right there. And it's actually kind of hard to unplug it independently of removing the battery. So what I did is I just removed my battery. So I had these two screws here on the right, these two screws here in the middle, and this screw here on the left. And that way, once I unscrewed it, then I could pull that out and remove my battery. As another side note, guys, this ribbon cable right here to the left of the battery port tends to stick on the battery. And sometimes when you take out this battery, you pull that right out of that port and you can break that port. So just to be on the safe side, what I would recommend is take out this ribbon cable from that port before taking your battery out so you don't break it. Um, if you notice, this is a black clip that folds up and down, you can see the brass hinges, that black clip, put a small flat pry tool in there and, and open it up. It opens kind of like a book. And again, those are brass hinges. It, it opens on those hinges. So pop that open, slide the ribbon cable out, and then shut that black clip again so you don't break it when taking out that battery. Okay, so after the battery has been unplugged or removed, the computer is a little safer to work on. And here, right here, guys, you have your Wi-Fi card. So you have these two gray or white and black antenna wire coming down here. They go up through this hinge assembly into your LCD assembly, and that connects to your antenna. They snap onto the Wi-Fi card here. So those are just snaps. They're not plugs. They just unsnap by pulling directly up and out of the computer. They unsnap from your Wi-Fi card. And then there's a single screw right here on top. You unscrew that and the Wi-Fi card will release. Sometimes it'll even pop up a little bit and you can pull it up straight up toward the heatsink assembly out of this port. That's how you would access and replace your Wi-Fi card. Okay, guys, so that's the video. I hope it was helpful in getting into your computer and finding the component you were looking for. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated over time. If you do need to leave me a question, feel free. I try to answer those at least a couple times a day. Please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it could help someone else, and feel free to subscribe if you enjoy little quick tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.